Here's a simple example of an object sliding down a frictionless incline. So we have that incline at angle theta. Here's the object of mass m, and we're not going to use numbers here. We're just going to use variables to see the general physics here. Um, again, the first step in this case, and we'll give this no friction, uh, is to draw the free body diagram. So that's the first step. And so we do that. And from the previous video, we saw that the force pulling it down in incline is given by the weight times the sine of the angle. The force pushing it against the ramp is going to be the weight times the cosine of the angle. And there's going to be the ramp pushing back, which supplies our normal or perpendicular surface force. So that's the first step. And then we go to the second step. Second step is to write Newton's second law down for both directions. So let's do that. The sum of the forces in the x direction, oh, let me indicate our direction here. Remember, it's at a, on an incline here. So our coordinate system is tilted. That's plus x, and that's going to be plus y. Some of the forces in the x direction is going to equal ma, and the sum of the forces in the y direction is going to equal ma. Well, in the y direction, um, do we expect anything to happen? Remember, the little ramp looked like this. So we don't expect the object to move up or down in that direction. So in this direction, the acceleration should be zero. Okay. In that case, we can look immediately at what's happening. We have two forces in the y direction, as you can see from the diagram above there. And therefore, we've got the normal force minus mg times the cosine of theta. So we find out that the normal force equals mg times the cosine of theta, which is interesting, but not pertinent to this particular problem, it will be when we look at friction, because remember, friction is uh, proportional to the normal force. Brings us to the more interesting case of the x direction, the actual acceleration. The actual acceleration in the x direction is going to be written by ma. And how many forces do we have in the x direction here? We have one force, and that is mg times the sine of theta. What do you notice about that equation? mg sine theta equals ma. Well, the mass is canceled, interestingly enough. And our solution is just a equals g times the sine of theta. And that is, tells us that um, mass is it's independent of mass. There's no friction. And so it's independent of mass. So it doesn't matter what mass you put down that ramp, it will slide down at the same acceleration, moderated by the sine of the angle. Let's take a look at the physics behind this. At zero degrees, which is when the ramp is flat on the ground, sine of, the sine of zero is zero. So g times zero is zero. The acceleration is zero. So at... Zero, theta equals zero degrees, the sine of theta equals zero, so A equals G times zero, there is no acceleration. So that makes sense. At theta equals 90 degrees, okay, so the ramp is perfectly vertical, what's the sine of 90 degrees? Sine of 90 equals one. Therefore, A equals G times one, or A equals G. And that makes sense to us because the object's falling straight down. So that's the physics behind the very simple case of an uh, object going down a frictionless incline.